This video is brought to you by Jack and Dad's brand premium lip balm. Support Timothy LeMoyne's channel while getting silky smooth lips. Look for the link below in the description to get yours today. Hi, my name is Timothy LeMoyne and today I'm going to show you two things that are guaranteed to go wrong with your when scroll saw. Check out these two tips. Fix these and I uh, have an $85 saw that lasts a very long time. The first thing that goes wrong happens right here. It's actually a vibration issue. This is what keeps your tabletop from spinning and uh, it vibrates loose. Simple fix. Look at the mini me that's about to pop up. If you want to jump to the section on this one, check that time now. The second thing that happens is you'll turn the power on the saw on but nothing happens. Actually, the motor will start, but your blade's not going up and down. Check out this mini-me. If that's an issue, you need to resolve. First thing guaranteed to rattle loose on your WEN scroll saw is actually underneath the front of your scroll saw. There is a socket cap screw right here, and its job in life is to allow your table to pivot from side to side. And uh, over time, it's gonna vibrate loose, you're gonna forget about it, especially if you don't tilt your table often, and it's gonna loosen up and fall down, and then suddenly you're gonna notice that your table does something like, something like this. So this is a spot right here where that uh, particular screw has come out. You can see that things are loose, particularly if I don't have this muscle down here. Uh, there's some flex and some bending, and that's because that joint has fallen out. It's a really, really easy fix. I'm gonna show you how to do that next. All you gotta do is go to your local hardware store. You're fixing this thing in uh, about, ooh, no, $2, $2 fix. Uh, don't buy the actual parts for it. They're gonna get, uh, you're gonna get overcharged. Uh, I went and got some uh, cap screws and I went and got some washers here. And then my final pick here was, uh, I'm going with, with some lock washers so it doesn't come out. Look for uh, descriptions down below so you know exactly what size to buy. So again, all I'm doing is I'm underneath the front of the table. Here is the spot. Uh, it's gonna be threaded back here. <coughs> Excuse me. Make sure again that you uh, check the links at the bottom of this page in the description. Get the right thread pitch, it's metric. Uh, right here you can see I'm just going with my cap screw. Uh, this is gonna be a lock washer. I don't want it to vibrate loose again and then just a standard washer in there. Uh, the fix is pretty straightforward, you guys. All you're doing is putting this thing in and you're gonna snug it up. Never over tighten these kind of things. The metal in these can be soft. You gotta remember it's about an $85 saw and uh, over tightening is just most likely to strip things out. So there I am again. I'll try to get my hand out of the way so you see better. Uh, but all I am doing is literally just uh, snugging up this particular piece and uh, then it's gonna be a problem solver. Uh, the alternative, of course, is if you're just buying this saw, uh, uh, check that periodically if you think of it, and uh, that way you don't have to worry about losing these things. And the second thing that happens really commonly on this or this when scroll saw, uh, right behind this orange plate here, there's two screws that help it come off. Uh, you've got a swing arm that uh, will vibrate loose. So when you start your machine, it's gonna sound like it's running, but on the inside, nothing's connected. You actually need it connected to this swing arm right here. So there's a bolt that goes through that spot, and uh, you know, when it <laughs> rattles loose and it's not connected, things stop working. So the solution is that, just go to your local hardware store. I went to Home Depot, I spent about a dollar, and uh, I got a bolt. I managed to salvage my old spacer, but uh, if you need a spacer, I can put a link down in the description. Uh, I would like Loctite, but I'm out of it at the moment, so I am gonna use a lock washer, and then of course a nut on the other side. Threading this through is a little bit tricky, but uh, you're gonna see me come from this back end right here where my finger is, and uh, I'm gonna thread things through, get all my pieces in there, and tighten this thing back up so it works again. All right, so I was a little chicken and tested this before I started recording, but uh, after you have this bolt in, you can see that uh, all is well, and uh, you can get a little bit of a view up in uh, the top of the screen here. You can see that uh, the blade's up and running again, so pretty simple fix.